grab your snorkel and flippers because this week on Behind the Scenes, we're heading underwater with some familiar faces as we take a look at the new aquarium update coming to player-owned houses. Oh, hello, God, Joe. How are you oh, doing? How's it going, Dave? It's going swimmingly. Brilliant. Haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? I've just been chilling out around this tank. Oh yeah, this is the new room in the player-owned house. Remind me, how did we get here? Uh, I believe we got here via some golden fish eggs. I think some players found us in the sea while fishing, just randomly. Then they added us to a new aquarium, a new room. Requires a uh, 63 construction, I believe. That is a very specific bit of information. I am quite impressed that you managed to remember that being a fish. Uh, it was a moment of finspiration. How are players going to be able to build this if they're already at their room limit? Ah, I'm glad you asked, because we've added one to the room limit now. So anyone can build it as long as they've got 63 construction and 200,000 GP. Not bad at all, is it? So I've been doing some laps of the old aquarium and I spotted some new things. What have you I seen? Seen Brago. I saw that. Yeah. That's Pretty cool. I uh, saw a white wolf mountain. Yeah. Saw a, a jungle head and some kelp and some seaweed. You've got to wonder where all these came from. Well, how would people be able to add these? Well, I... Ah, uh, prawn balls. Yeah, I've seen that some people are fishing, getting prawn balls while they fish, opening them up to get a kind of a, a rare location perhaps for their, for their tank. Hey God, Alex, how are you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. I'm doing good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, what have you been, you been up to? What have you seen? Well, actually, I was watching Mod Alex the other day. He worked really hard to make all this stuff for us. Ah, what do you, what do you reckon your favourite bit is? Well, he seemed to really enjoy making that bathosphere in the middle. There's a really good bit of concept art to work from. And I really like how it lets the players into our tank. Hmm. You've got to love all the, uh, the fancy effects in the aquarium. Yeah, they were really pushing the boat out with things like caustic effects, uh -huh. bubbles, uh, custom animations for all the fish and all the ambient movement in the environment. Nice. So yeah, I was just chatting away to Sarah the Lobster earlier and uh, she said, Shark! Oh! I'm dead! As... Good stuff. Oh, hello, it's Cod Dame, how are you doing? Yeah, hey Cod Dave. See that scary shark go by? I'm pretty sure we noticed. Yeah, I saw the guy who made him. Not sure why he made that guy, but he made the rest of us, actually. How do you think he uh, made us? I saw him do it, actually, using uh, something called 3D Studio Max and Photoshop. Some of us he was able to find pictures of, like the sturgeon, the trout, and the salmon. But uh, other ones, like the, uh, the larvae and the rainbow fish, couldn't seem to find any pictures, so he had to ask for help on those. So Dave, obviously yeah? this aquarium's great for us, but uh, what about the players? What's in it for them? Well, it all comes down to the perks, doesn't it? You know, the more you do in the aquarium, the more perks you unlock. You're talking about baitless fishing, some diving suit overrides, until you get to the heady heights of a great white shark pet, a new great white shark to fish, and, no less, you get to make some sushi with that great white shark for passive healing benefits. What about players who collect everything in their aquarium? Well, first off, it's worth saying that if you're a max player, you get 50 prawn balls just for starting an aquarium. But there's also a plug. If you do everything in the aquarium, you can pull the plug and lose all of the fish, and start all over again. You'll get a new design of plug. Can you can you feel something? <gasps> Holy shrimp! This can't be happening. I'm feeling drained. Oh, the humanity! Oh, I hope we're updating as a tank. Ah! And we're back with behind the scenes next week with more updates coming to RuneScape this April.